Welcome to the Talk Like a Leader podcast, where we explore the mindset, skill set, and habit set of leadership communication. Using these tips, techniques, and tactics, you'll be able to talk like a leader to build better relationships and get more done. Your host is Guy Harris, who has more than 20 years of combined professional and military experience in consulting, coaching, and training in areas like team and interaction dynamics, communication strategies and tactics, as well as emotional intelligence. Take it away, Guy. Hi, this is Guy Harris. Welcome to Talk Like a Leader. This week's episode is titled, Short, Frequent Conversations Beat Long, Infrequent Ones. The context that I'm speaking about this week is the impact that your conversations, your contact, your communication with your team, both individually and collectively with your peers, I would say with your customers, and even with your supervisor, with all of the people that surround you and whatever your role happens to be, that the frequency of your conversations with them is probably a larger predictor of your success in communication than in the length of your communication. And if we consider that people tend to remember short messages better than they remember long messages, as a general rule, come up with the idea that short, frequent conversations are better than long, infrequent ones. One of the things that's interesting about human nature is that we tend to remember the beginnings and ends of stories more than we remember the middles. And and you probably had this experience. You're trying to relate a story you heard someone tell or relate an experience. And how it began and how it ended are often pretty clear in your mind. And if you haven't thought about it a lot, or if it's not a story that is something that you're well f- familiar with, the middle is a little muddy. Now, how you got from the beginning to the end isn't always that easy to remember. Now, when you think about communicating with other people and think about people being on the receiving end of your communication, remember that the middles of the communications aren't terribly memorable. It's the beginnings and the ends. So one thing you can do to make your communication more powerful, more effective, more memorable, is to have lots of beginnings and ends, which would imply that we have short, frequent conversations rather than long, infrequent ones. Better to have four or five short conversations with a person spread over a day or two than one really long one at the end of the week. So people remember beginnings and ends more than they do middles. And we'd like to have lots of beginnings and ends so we have lots of things to remember. Another thing to consider is something that I heard on an episode of No Stupid Questions podcast. Uh, I think I heard this maybe two months ago or so. There was some research in terms of happiness and satisfaction that Angela Duckworth, one of the hosts of the No Stupid Questions podcast and also the author of the book Grit, shared, when we look at happy experiences we have in life, it tends to be the number of happy experiences we have that are the greater predictor of our satisfaction than with the length or intensity of the happiness. And she used the example of, let's say that you had an anniversary weekend and you had planned three separate events all to be done together. You were going to go to dinner, go to a show and do this out of town at a resort lodge somewhere. So you had three happy events. You had a nice dinner, you had a nice show and you had time away from your house. Well, if you combined all of them into one weekend, it would be the same amount of happy experience as if you had split them up into three weekends. So you went to a really nice dinner one weekend and a show another weekend and took a weekend away a third weekend. You'd have the same amount of happy experiences, the same number of happy experiences, yet the three individual happy experiences spread over three weeks would probably have a greater positive impact on your happiness and just general good feeling about your experience with life than the single event where you combined all three of them into like one night or one two night stay. Well, take that same idea in terms of our conversations and and how they contribute to the strength and quality of our relationship with others. It is better to have many experiences with people, even if they're only a few minutes at a time, than it is to sit down for an hour in our office with someone. And again, we see that short, frequent conversations beat long, infrequent ones. 
The idea is this. If, as a leader, I, or you, intend to build a team with high morale, high commitment, high engagement, high motivation, one of the things we can do is to make conscious, intentional effort to build strong relationships, to build strong shared vision, to build open lines of communication, to, in effect, invest in the happiness and general energy of the relationships on the team, both ours and the people around us. So if you'll remember that short, frequent conversations beat long, infrequent ones, make sure you're building in lots of little discussions and little touch points with people rather than planning the long once a month ones. You can talk like a leader. This has been the Talk Like a Leader podcast. You can listen to this show every week wherever you get your podcast. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe so you never miss an episode. I'm Guy Harris, and thanks for listening.